Metalheads. Greetings und Servus zu Metals Forever Nummer 18 am 26.01.2021. Schön, dass ihr wieder dabei seid. Und heute, ich muss es gleich voraussagen, heute haben wir wieder eine Sendung auf Englisch, denn wir haben einen internationalen Gast, nämlich Dino Chilosik. Ein Wahnsinnsänger. Ich habe ein geiles Programm ausgesucht. Leider fast alles nur Cover-Songs von ihm, weil es gibt ja Copyright-Probleme und äh, er ist auf Labels, die meine Sch äh, Sendung noch nicht supporten. Aber ich arbeite daran, dass wir das dass wir auch irgendwann geregelt bekommen. Wir sind schon, im Hintergrund wird schon geschoben und gemacht und getan, dass wir viele Labels und einen Hut bekommen. Mit Nuclear Blast klappt es noch nicht so gut, darum werde ich noch nichts spielen von Nuclear Blast, weil die muten tatsächlich in der Show äh, vers äh, verschiedene Songs. Aber was soll's. Ich werde später euch einblenden, wer, wer alles schon da ist. Oder ich gehe mal kurz rein. Wer schon da ist. Okay, Michael Scherfel, hey, mein Metalhead. Flo Schmöller, Sandra Gautier, Gautschika, Monika Wimmer, Luftraum Fürstenfeldbruch, Servus, Roland Seidel, hey, Bobbes, Peter Krause, Robert Wick, Frank Laux, Matt Bischoff. Jetzt seid wieder alle da, super, geil. Schnell Durchlauf. Und bevor es losgeht, natürlich ein Shoutout zu meinen, zu meinen äh, äh, Sponsoren, weil ohne den geht es nicht, die Sendung. Und danach geht es auch gleich los. Und hier erstmal ein Dankeschön, Metal Greetings und Thank You zu meinen Sponsoren. Die Metal is Forever Show wird euch präsentiert von The Vegan Ashes of Rock'n'Roll. Veganer Lifestyle ist lebendiger Rock'n'Roll. Wir sind Rebellen, wir sind Veganer, wir lieben das Leben und leben es mit jeder Menge Spaß. Fliesen Spitzner, ihr zuverlässiger Handwerker für alle Aufgaben rund um das Verlegen von Fliesen, Platten, Mosaik und Naturstein. Schwammerhandler, Fanshop, Store and More, ist aus dem bayerischen Wald. Dezi Hell, Business Clothes for Rockers. Dezi Hell, kein Fest und der leckere Sposau. Deshalb, wenn es um Sposau geht, dann hack's Sposau Grillerei. Wenn es um Cargo geht, dann Seidel Cargo, denn wir fahren auch Metal. Crazy Stuff Tattoo in Schwandorf, Tätowierer aus Leidenschaft. Dein Tattoo-Studio in privater Atmosphäre und für individuelle Tattoos. Luftraum Fürstenfeldbruck, die Rock- und Metal-Kneipe. Jede Woche von Donnerstag bis Samstag Rock und Metal vom Feinsten. Ja, besten Dank an meine Sponsoren. Ihr seid super. Danke. Cool. Und Luftraum Fürstenfeldbruck ist neu im Bunde. Danke für die Unterstützung. Ganz, ganz cool. Und heute mein Einsteiger die Woche ist äh, von der Band Dynasty. Die habe ich schon in der Morgensendung gespielt, weil ich finde, das passt auch stimmlich gut zusammen zu meinem Gast. Und äh, jung, dynamisch und metal. Und hier sind Dynasty und The Grey.
Dynasty, The Grey, geiler Rock, gefällt mir total gut. Und ich sehe da, Danny ist da aus der Schweiz. Servus, Danny, alter Metal-Fuchs. Der Alois Kirschner aus Flagge natürlich wieder. Heute sind wieder alle da, meine Metalers. So muss sein, jawohl, sehr, sehr geil. Frankie Laux, jawohl, Sponsoren. Es könnte sein, dass im Februar der eine oder andere wegkommt von meinen Sponsoren. Da kann niemand wieder rein. Wenn ihr ein Geschäft habt oder ihr wollt irgendwas promoten, dann könnt ihr bei mir rein. Ist auch gar nicht teuer. Also äh, es ist erschwinglich, sagen wir es so. Was gibt es noch News? Es gibt eine News, auf die freue ich mich natürlich. Äh, Tony Martin. Sagt der Tony Martin noch was? Einer meiner absoluten Favoriten in den 80ern. Headless Cross, Black Sabbath war für mich natürlich der Wahnsinn. Und ja, und er hat zugesagt, also er hat nicht schon zugesagt, aber er hat es bestätigt. Er wartet nur noch, bis er vom Label die Freigabe gibt für Interviews, wenn das neue Album rauskommt. Er ist mittendrin in der Arbeit und Tony Martin ist bestätigt. Das ist schon mal ein sehr, sehr cooler. Auf den freue ich mich total, weil ich weiß nicht, wie ich Black Sabbath gesehen habe in München. Ich glaube in einer gute Siedlmachhalle oder Zirkus Kron. Ich weiß nicht mehr genau, wo es war. Auf alle Fälle, wer, wer war damals mit, äh, in, bei Black Sabbath? Ich weiß nicht mehr, wo es genau war. Ist es Krone oder, oder war es? Bin ich mir ganz sicher. Aber Headless Cross war in der Zeit mein absolutes Lieblingsalbum der Zeit. Und natürlich Tony Martin, geniale, geniale Stimme. So, und jetzt kommt mein erster Song von meinem Gast. Und ich sag's euch, der, der Junge, als ich den zum ersten Mal gehört habe, zum allerersten Mal, dachte ich mir, holy crap, was für eine Stimme. Und dass der so eine Karriere macht und jetzt mit den ganz Großen zusammenarbeitet, das ist nur eigentlich ganz logisch. Und wo er herkommt, das wisst ihr vielleicht noch gar nicht. Das wird er mir dann aber dann sagen. Und hier ist Dino Chalusik und Bad to the Bone.
wow, was für eine Stimme, ne? Und was für Power dahinter ist. Das war der Originalsong von, von Dino Chalosik. Und als ich ihn zum ersten Mal gehört habe, vor ein paar Jahren, da wusste ich, dass der mal irgendwie was wird, weil das zu einer Stimme, das muss was werden. Aber woher er kommt, das ist natürlich schon ein, ein Wunder, dass man aus, aus einem anderen Land dann durchstartet international und dass die ganze Welt ihn mal kennt, die Metal-Welt ihn kennt. Aber jetzt ist er hier und wird mal darüber sprechen. Und ich begrüße ganz herzlich Dino Celosic. What's up? Hey Dino, how are you doing? Yo, doing really good, can you hear me? I hear you very good. Okay. okay. Very well. Yeah. yeah, I'm at my beach house uh, working on something and just resting for a week till I go back to uh, Zagreb. Where are you now at the moment? Uh, I'm at my at, at my beach house. It's it's on the coast of Croatia. It's it, I usually Croatia. live in Zagreb, yeah, but I moved for for a week here so I can just play and record something and just rest from uh, okay. from from being at the same place all the time because during quarantine, you know, you, you couldn't go anywhere. So, yeah, I saw in a teaser with the mask. How is in Croatia? Is it strict? Uh, with the mask, I mean. Uh, once you come, everything. yeah, I mean, once you come inside a certain object, you gotta wear a mask. But you don't have to wear a mask um, publicly, like on the streets. All right. So that's that's quite different than like, for instance, Spain. I think in Spain you gotta wear a mask on the street too. So, yeah, it's not that strict, but you gotta wear a mask. Yeah. Dino, thank you so much for accepting my invitation. And yeah, absolutely. You, you you was on my on my list high because because I am admire your voice. That's exactly you know, I'm a metalhead over 40 years now, and and of course my my big big stars or big heroes, Bon Scott, then Bruce Dickinson, Dio, of course, and and when I heard you a couple of years ago, I thought we are not lost. There is hope that that the metal goes on, you know, with the, the right voices. Because because the, the, the years before, always like a growing voices, yeah, not yeah. not no high voices. I miss the shouts, the the, the screams. Oh, and the yeah. last couple of couple of years now, I discovered so many so many great great frontmen and with attitude. That is what what, what I, I missed. You know, after crunch, I missed it. But and this is now what 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 the example, a young, fresh voice. But you hear influences and but all my my first question to, to my guest is what was the humble beginning of Dino when you discovered that you have a pipe like this? I mean, uh, this is this is a pretty big question if you ask me, because I started singing in my first TV appearance was 1997. So it was 24 years ago. Like I started when I was a kid, I was going into a, a lot of international festivals. But you know, I, I was a kid, I was like five years old. And uh, my voice changed in 2008. And that's where, you know, mutation and stuff, you lose all the high notes. All of a sudden, you can't do anything with your voice. But I, I knew I wanted to be a rock singer, but it just took, you know, I think it was. Like Bent to the Bone was recorded in 2012, so nine years ago. I think in late 2011, I started developing more rock and heavy metal type of singing. Before that, I was a lot more poppy and pop rock. Uh, my influences were a lot more R&B, bluesy, because I, I couldn't reach the high notes. I didn't have the depth. I didn't have the rasp. And it just... As soon as I uh, discovered head voice, I just kept working on it and growing my voice. And, uh, um, you know, you learn how to you sing high and stuff. But it's also important to learn how to sing with resonance, to learn how to sing with uh, depth, to learn how to sing low and to know how to, uh, how to you know, to sing raspy and then clean, you know, to, to learn the right, right technique. So it took it took time to to get to that. I still want to work out some stuff on my voice, but I'm pretty confident with what I got. Did you did you uh, went to, to a vocal coach for the breathing uh, and everything? I, I I did when I was about uh, 15, 16. 
but he always told me that I'm a baritone and he wanted to work with me as a baritone all the time. So he never wanted me to sing high, you know, you're going to hurt your voice, blah, blah, blah. And uh, all of the high stuff and techniques, I learned it by myself. Uh, my vocal coach did not help me at all with that. He helped me to learn how to breathe properly and just warm myself up. But I know that, you know, the way he wanted me to sing was more classical. But at one point, you know, you can't sing this type of music with with a classical, you know, um, attitude. And, you know, the, the way that the voice is impostated, you can't do this type of music with, you know, Pavarotti kind of voice. So I knew I knew that I had to give up and just go my own way. Was Dio, Ronnie James Dio, uh, influence on your voice? On your singing style absolutely i i mean i think it's quite obvious especially if you listen to here comes the king by dirty shirley it's, it's a very do-esque uh but uh when i was younger i my influences were a lot more prince and michael jackson that's how i got all my r&b stuff but yeah uh, as far as rock Uh, dio ray gillen sammy hagar uh coverdale of course um then You know, I mean, the, the fun part is uh, I also love like Phil Anselmo, Randy Blythe, you know, metal stuff, real, real, like really heavy, growly stuff. But I, I, uh, as I am in Trans Siberian Orchestra, I'm a, I, I've always been a huge fan of Russell Allen, of Jeff Scott Soto, and Mats Levin. And all of a sudden, I end up in a band with those three. So it's. But we talk quiet. about later. We talk about later. Okay. We not. Okay. We not. Yeah. We not. Yeah. I have a lot of influences from Freddie Mercury, Elton John to the guys that I mentioned. Yeah. So yeah. And now I have a song. This is one of my favorite song on the Heaven and Hell album, of course, with the Almighty Ronnie James Dio, one yeah. of his best songs from Heaven Heaven and Hell, uh, and you nailed it. But let the people judge. You know, that's that's. This is my opinion. It's it's fantastic. You, There's always about, oh, nobody can touch Ronnie James Dio, you know, because he was the voice, you know. But, yeah, yeah, but, I agree. but, but, yes, I agree too. But there is, there is an element in your voice that is a fuck, you know, I mean, it gives me goosebumps. But let's play a song first and then, then we talk about Thank this, you. okay? Thank you. All right. Cool. Here is, cool. here is Die Young, Dino Chilusik.
I haven't, I haven't, I haven't, yeah, I, I haven't seen this video in a while. I got to be honest with you. Yeah. Cool. You know, I, I just checked when, when the album Heaven and Hell was released on the 25th April 1980. So 41 yeah. years ago. And you, you and your guys, let me talk about you, your guys. You, all the videos I, I, I checked out, you always work with f fucking great musicians. Where are these? Uh, they are from the States? They're from Croatia? Where are they from? Uh, so these people that the, in this video are from Slovenia. Uh, the guy that called me is a guitar player. His name is Clemen. And uh, the funny thing is he called me. He said, you know, would you like to do Die Young with us? Uh, so I drove to Ljubljana. It's about an hour and a half from where I live. Uh, and fun fact, Die Young was recorded nine in the morning i was it was two it was like four years ago nine in the morning and i was i really was not happy with this with this uh performance but they said no we want to keep this and i was like but guys i can do better than this no we want to keep it so uh this was the this was the first time i sang ronnie james dio and uh um i sang it a bit more like like yorn would sing with more rasp but over the years like about uh, two years I did like a uh, Ronnie James Dio memorial and that sounded a lot more, you know, a lot more like Ronnie, a lot more um, stronger and cleaner. Um, but yeah, uh, back to the, back to the guys. So uh, yeah, the band is great. Uh, it's, it's three guys that usually don't play together and they just called me as a session guy and uh, I did recording and that's where we hooked up where animal drive hooked up with uh The producer, the guy that mm, produced mm. this, um, did our EP, and we started working with him. So it was uh, the beginning of a very nice friendship. Yeah. Unfortunately, we talked before. I can't play anything from labels. Uh, I know, like I know, I know. original. I know. That, that's why I have to go with uh, videos what I find without labels. Otherwise, they blocked me again, and this is a, this is yeah. a mess. Yeah. So, uh, you know what? My humble opinion. If you try to, to, to sound like Dio, then it's a copy. If you sound yeah. like now, like, like this here, this is Dino. You give, you give, no, you give a, a fresh air. You give the song no, fresh no. air. The song is 40, 41 year old. And yeah. Dio is untouchable. But you brought it to the yeah. next level. I think if Dio, if Dio would hear this, he would say, great. Thank you so much. You got it. You know, cool. you have, yeah. and uh, uh, my, my co-pilot on Friday show, Frank Laux, he wrote, the soul from Ronnie James Dio is in you. And I agree. Wow. But Thank you very much. Yeah. It's, no, this is no, no sweet mouth here. It is, we, we, we <laughs> always speak, the, we always speak what's, what I think, you know, this for what you, yeah. you put honey on your mouth. No. Let's talk about, let's talk about uh, uh, a little bit your father. I wasn't sure who is your manager. Is Adrian your brother? And then, then, then I, I, I checked out on the internet. Okay, it's your father. Yeah. So you, your father always pushed you and, and supported you, and he's oh, on your definitely. side. Oh. Yeah, yeah. If, if there wasn't for him and his support, there's no way I would be where I am. He was like pushing me to all these festivals. Uh, he's more of a rock guy. At one point, I went a bit more heavier and started working on my vocals intensively. And I remember that uh, uh, he wasn't happy with me going more into symphonics um, direction, you know, more raspy and stuff. Uh, but actually, that type of voice got me in, into Trans Siberian Orchestra. So then he said, you know, he was always afraid because I li we live in Croatia. Rock and roll is and rock and metal is absolutely dead here. He was always afraid, you know, why is he going to this direction? You know, the, he's never going to make it in Croatia because all. You can make it here only if you do pop music. So he was afraid that, you know, none of this is going to happen. But then TSO happened and he was like, he felt better. So, uh, yeah. So, I, I got, I got, a, a, is, is he watching? Is Adrian watching? Uh, his name is Dario, but I, I'm not da sure. Dario, if, not Adrian. Yeah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, so I'm Dario. not sure watching. Um, anyway, yeah, I got, I, I got most of my influences from here. From him to second, okay, nobody's coming. Um, I got most of my influences from him, you know, from rock to pop to fusion, you know, from Toto to Gino Vanelli to Elton John to Iron Maiden to Dio to Van Halen to Whitesnake to Winger. 
um, Phil Collins, everything was him. ACDC, Led Zeppelin, Deep Purple, everything came from my dad. So, you know, I'm grateful for that. Very, very cool. I love yeah. this. Yeah, I mean, you are 28 years old, right? I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 28. And 28. And I, I am sure, yeah, and you work with big names already. Yeah. You, you, you tell me what we can talk, what we not can talk. You told me before with something no, we no, cannot no. talk. Yeah, no, no, it's, it's okay. Yeah, yeah. You also work with uh, George Lynch. Yeah, we did uh, one one Dirty Shirley album. It was it was great. I love the album. I love how we both went very uh, diverse on it. It, it. You can't say you know it sounds like Dawkins or Lynch Mob. It really sounds like something new and fresh. And I got a call from Max Norman who produced Lynch Mob, and he told me that he bought this album and that he absolutely loves it. So I'm honored to hear that, you know, and George is a virtuoso. He's to me like Van Halen, you know, in that league. So, um, yeah, awesome. Will Hunt Will Hunt from Evanescence and Evanescence and Black Label Society on drums. And, uh, yeah, pretty cool. Alessandro Del Vecchio produced, uh, mixed it. I produced it with him and with George. I'm really happy with how that turned out. So how how was uh, when you met George the first time? Because I never met I never met George. That's the funny oh. thing. Yeah, okay. we we only worked online on this album and over the phone. You know, can you can we try this? Can we go this? Oh yeah, let's try this. And I was like, can I put keyboards on this? I'm gonna double your guitar riff with my keyboards. And he's like, this sounds cool. Yeah, th that's the that's the magic of it. You know, if you have chemistry with someone. You don't even have to be alive in that room with with a certain person, but but you would love to meet him. Absolutely, yeah. I, w we were supposed to meet. I wanted to get him tickets for TSO when we played in Los Angeles, but he couldn't make it. So, but it's going to happen soon. Um, I'm sure. So soon we play something from uh, uh, TSO, but now I, I play one song. I love this song, and this is a duet with an, another singer, which the half of the the, the first part. Things another He's, who who was this? He, he actually lives in Germany now. Uh, he lives oh. in um, Ludwigsburg. Um, okay. Yeah. He his name is Zoran Mišić. He's one of the best singers I've ever heard in my life. Uh, he won Croatian Idol. No, he was runner up in Croatian Idol uh, 12 years ago, and he pretty much woke us all up when he went there because I haven't heard a voice like that like a rock voice in Croatia ever. And then he came up and I was like, who is this guy? You know, you know, and every, then everybody started, you know, working on their singing myself as well. And I, um, we both sing for this chaos Attic, The band you're going to see now is actually a thrash metal band, but we did, um, we did I'll remember by Toto in a little bit heavier version. And uh, yeah, it's, it, it's pretty cool. Fantastic. Yeah. I mean, What do you say? It's 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 true. It's it's uh, uh, only check out where is the song, so I can. Where is the song? Here is it. Um, yeah. Please excuse because it's very small to find. You know, and okay. I don't want to push the wrong button. Uh, when the first the first half of the song is actually him. Yep. And then when you start start song, for me it's it's similar voice actually. It's 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 a, it's a raspy voice, but yeah. then you put something on top. You I mean honey. Uh, we are actually quite different because he's a bass baritone and I'm a baritone tenor, so the tone is different. Uh but he, we have pretty similar influences, so that's why it might sound Uh, but when we both go up and sing the, the last part of the song, that's where things are really heated up. And uh, this is the goosebumps part. Yeah, yeah, I love that. I love that part. I love yes. that part. Yeah, and we let the people know for what we're talking about. We're saying, what the talk okay. about song doesn't here is Cow's Addict. Here's I will remember very, very cool, cool song.
And I don't understand how all this has come to pass. How we come to surround ourselves in a sea of thieves. In a land without the learning, only fools believe. crap i love yeah. these guys you, yeah. you 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 saw it i had to cut it because i have only five minutes i know i know maximum. i know it's okay it's okay i had to cut something out and i hate i hate to 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 work to interfere in in the artist's work because you know there's okay. love and passion but i have to cut it to five minutes under five minutes otherwise I cannot upload it so goosebumps all over the place yeah especially especially and you Sorry, when I say it's very similar. The screams are so similar in the end. You know, yeah, like it's, Metal Brothers. <laughs> the, the thing is, we have we recorded one more song as a duet, uh, and at one point we both sing, and I can't really tell who is who. who is. That's but, what I told you. But yeah, it's uh, once 
once we were shooting this video, uh, the drummer was shooting my part. And I was like, uh, I'm not sure if I sing this part or, or if it's him. So I was like, no, it's me. And then we record. I was like, no, this is actually me. This was him. So <laughs> on, on, on high parts, you can't really tell in this song because there's because I'm singing backing vocals when he sings main and he sings backing vocals when I sing main vocal. So, OK, you know, you can't really tell. But yeah, he's uh, he's a tremendous singer. I One love our big fans here. Is this on a CD available? Uh, it's not. It's not. It's just a cover. Oh, no, 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 I'm wrong. Uh, there's an album from the band. It's called Sacrament of Hope from Chaos Addict. And you can get that CD, actually. Uh, I'll rem is remember. Number? Yeah, I'll remember is the last song on the album. Okay, so we have to find out. Maybe it's even in the Music Maker Store. Danny Maybe. in Switzerland Danny in Switzerland is a very strong number. I love it. So he's a metal addict cool Danny. cool hey hi danny so yeah he's he's cool he, he know he has a lot, lot of records and he's a collector and 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 he knows metal in and out he's a old nice. guy also married to a filipino we are brothers in metal so now we come to a to a part which when i when i saw this footage I always im imagine what you must feel to be on a stage like this when you when you uh, uh, entered the world of Transibiro Express to work with uh, like Trans Joel Trans 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 Orchestra. Orchestra, yes. Orchestra, yeah. okay, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Important. How when, when, when this happened and and you actually works with Joel uh, Hoekstra so, uh, from White Snake. What is it to work with guys like this? This is the next level. I mean, yeah, uh, I joined TSO in 2016. Um, I remember by the time I joined TSO, things were falling apart as far as my band. Uh, Dario, my father slash slash and manager, he gave up. He was like, "I'm giving up you singing rock. You're not. You're not going to make it with this." Croatia doesn't get rock. You got to stop, blah, blah, blah. And I started managing my own band and things were not looking good for us. And I told him, I need just one little chance to show myself. And, you know, everything else will come after that chance. And I got a call to audition for TSO. As soon as I found out, I, I told him, this is, this is what I need. And I told him right away, I'm going to sing this song. I'm going to get this. And from this moment on, I'm just going to start conquering. I mean, that sounds pretty, you know, um, self-confident, uh, which I was not. But I knew that I'm going to work hard to get it. So I got in TSO, you know, working with Soto and Hoekstra and Al Petrelli, John Oliva, Paul O'Neill. Uh, and after that, you know, I got a contract with Frontiers Records. I started working with uh, Animal Drive. I got so many calls. And, you know, it's 2020. I've worked with Portnoy, Dave Ellison, Virgil Donati, Tony Franklin, you know, Jordan Rodas, uh, Doug Aldrich, you name it. There's not a guy that I haven't worked with. So it's it's pretty amazing how things turned out. Yeah. You know, what, what, I, what I love, so I had Ronnie, Ronnie Romero. Oh. Uh, oh, my guest. My, my second guest was Ronnie Romero. A great who, friend, yeah. Who, Yeah. who entered the world of rainbow you know imagine and he, yeah. he, he he was in a rainbow cover band before imagine it's like anel pineda who became the singer of of journey you know? and and i love this i love this this how the internet youtube for example makes make it happen you know make uh, gives, gives uh, young talents like 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 you and, and you are a fantastic talent uh, the chance to shine you know i mean what sure. what, what brings a, a shiny talent in, in croatia and he knows you have it in your guts and i told you what you 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 felt it you had you had it in your guts say i can do this and absolutely and yeah. the next the next uh, uh, song i i found and it's, it's an ama amazing clip a live clip somebody uh, filmed this with a handy i guess oh yeah 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 But from it, the it's, audience it's, 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 It's a very, 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 very good 
the sound is good and you, you, you look around and you see the arena with all the the, the, the flashlight what yeah, what uh -huh. was it for you when you when you saw this can can you bring us back in this moment because i i you can see you are yeah i mean that the song is it's a sad song it's a song about I, about uh, can you talk about, about this song yeah i really wanted to talk about this song because the, this song has a very special story um so paul o'neill is is a guy that formed trans Siberian orchestra and uh he came to my audition um and as soon as he heard me singing he said let me get my guitar i wanted to try out something so he brought the guitar and he said i'm gonna play a song that i wrote um 40 years ago and i want to try on this and i was like wow okay so he started playing hey can you hear me now and he said can you can you like learn it just like in a minute and i was like let me try And he said, I've been looking for a singer for this song for 40 years. And he said, wow. I've tried, he said, I, I, I tried John Oliva. That song was supposed to be a sabotage song. He tried Steven Tyler. He tried Ray Gillen on this. He tried everybody on this song. And he said, I can, I cannot find a person that can sing the low parts, you know, low and big and the high parts, you know, strong. Can you try? So I tried. I still have a video from that audition that I'm, I'm, not, I'm not allowed to uh, share with anybody because it's private. Uh, and we just tried it. And he said, you know, he said he, he never told me anything. He's like, sounds great. And a couple of months later, after the first tour, he gave me a call and he said, I want you in studio in April. Uh, I want you to record this song. And right before my flight, uh, he died. And um, uh, I, I, everything stopped. I stayed in Croatia. And uh, next year, in October, his daughter said, I want to record this song that my father wanted to have you on because she took over the band. So I came to Tampa. We started recording. Hey, can you hear me now? And I did a demo for the song and everything stopped we we did this song on the tour and you know uh covid came uh we there was no tour in 2020 and i have no idea what's going to happen with that song but uh i know that it was supposed to be on the new trans Siberian orchestra album and it felt really special to perform that song as a new tune on um on our tour, you know, because uh, uh, about a million people sees TSO every year and to be performing a song from TSO that was unreleased that I'm going to do for the album was an absolute honor and uh, crazy. You know, he is your guardian angel, you know, he gave you yeah. maybe the, he gave you the career to, to make you, to make you, uh, uh, yeah. Maybe Might be. Day. I became, yeah. I became, I became, I became much better singer and performer uh, touring with TSO. I learned a lot from more experienced colleagues, mm -hmm. and uh, it was just, yeah, it, it's true. He might be my guardian angel. Yes, rest in peace, Paul. Rest in peace, Paul. And a beautiful, beautiful song. And here is TSO. And hey, can you hear me now? Yep. Come in a rock 
child, always in style. City, can you see? Dreams, fear, always been there. Raised on TV, down the years. Can you I love yeah. this song. Me too. Goosebumps uh, all over the place, my yeah, friend. Yeah, yeah I, I, I had I had tears in my eyes. I gotta be honest with you. I yeah. I, I tell you something. This is uh, I think this is the real real highlight in my in my eighteen shows. This was absolutely amazing, my friend. Thank it's you. A, it's yeah. a it's a it's a it's a fantastic song. It's and... it's a it's a fantastic song. I agree with you. It's 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 in the vein of. Almond Brothers, Neil Young, and uh, Chris Cornell, and Eagles, and it's it has that soul. It's like it's very raw and bluesy, but it has it has that soul. Um, you know the song is good when it's when you get goosebumps just listening to guitar and voice. Then you know that the, the song is good. You know, and what and what an honor that he. He couldn't hear the voice with uh, Steven Tyler. Imagine, you know, I mean, he has a. I, I, yeah. I hear Steven Tyler's voice, but 
he's he was right because you you have this 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 low voice and then you let the song shine in the end this is this makes yeah. a song this is always yeah. i say uh, it's the sun is shining now and you made it happen <laughs> and congratulations yeah. my friend this was what a great amazing. song yeah I, I i i enjoyed to perform this one so much but also check out uh so we have two tso's we have east and west i perform on the west this song on the east was performed by by kayla reeves she's one of my favorite female singers in the world uh she did quite different because she didn't do the low part but her version is absolutely amazing i love her version so check out her version too i will i will yeah. you know we are nearly close to the end so yeah. fast goes one hour oh, crazy because, yeah crazy because i hope you enjoyed our interview so far absolutely absolutely it's my honor my my, my honor as well so <laughs> I, I always i always ask my friends it's, uh, it's my, my pleasure favorite. it's my pleasure yeah yeah i always ask my my guests please recommend me to others stars you you might so hey check out this guy he's because i what i what, what i think this this format of, of a podcast is different to others because the guests are online as well and they, and they can immediately write to you you know and you can are there some some questions before i i finish this are the questions now so i speak german to my to my to my to my, to my guests okay. some cool. of them don't speak english too well habt ihr welche fragen on on dino die ich ihm jetzt stellen kann dass jetzt seid ihr dran da draußen wir haben 10 seconds delay so it always takes a while let me before the, the questions come in how you 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 learned english so well you speak fluent english in croatia uh, it's, it's it's yeah in the school well, or, or, or well well to be honest mm -hmm. i like now when i speak i can hear my accent once i'm in in usa for two three weeks i really speak like you can't really tell i really try to not sound like i'm from croatia but Uh, when I was a kid, you know, everybody dreamed of of uh, being a star in Croatia. I always, like, my city was has always been Los Angeles, and I always thought, you know, I want to, I want to be in Los Angeles. I want to be that guy, and you know, all my favorite bands are from there. I want to be part of LA scene. So I always, I always lean towards uh, that type of scene, and I just, I traveled a lot with my singing, so I learned English. Pretty much. So how how was it when 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 finally you you arrived you arrived in LA? Oh, First time? I, oh. Uh, no no I I I uh, I was singing at Whiskey Gogo, -Go, uh, the famous the famous place where Guns N' Roses signed their contract, and it was amazing. Uh, it was me, uh, Jeff Scott Soto, Sean McNabb from House of Lords. Um, what was his name? Uh, the bass player from uh, Chuck Wright from Quiet Riot. Wow. Um, uh, Mitch uh, from The Sweet, um, then Ira Black from Dawkin and Vicious Rumors, um, uh, CC, Courtney Cox from Iron Maidens, uh, Ricky Bonazza from Butcher Babies. Like, there were so many people that night, and uh, I just I had time of my life in Los Angeles. I cannot wait to get back in LA, to be honest with you. So how was it when when you are yeah, on immigration, and then stamp and you are in you are in America? How was it for you? It was like like uh, the next milestone. It was, but I, I I was in America in 2004. I was singing for a Croatian community in New York, so I okay. went to see Broadway and everything. But yeah, once I once I started touring America, I was like, this is this is it, you know, you know, the first rehearsal with TSO, I was like, is this really happening to the young Croatian guy? But that's what, you know, that's what yeah. Ronnie Romero told me. Ronnie Romero was, an, is it true? Is it, is it, like, yeah. uh, is it a dream? Yeah. Ronnie's Man, yeah. Ronnie and I, Ronnie and I met, uh, three years ago on, on frontiers rock festival. He just started singing for Corey Leone and he had a similar story, uh, It's the thing is I I was singing for way longer than him, but yeah, it's you just it just happens and you can't believe it's here because you've always dreamed of those bands. All of a sudden, you're a part of that. So I know how Ronnie feels. He's a great guy and a it's great like, singer. Like, like like similar story with Gus G. You know Gus as well, right? 
I know Gus as well. I was supposed to tour with, I was supposed to be his singer uh, in his solo band for Monsters of Rock Cruise, but it, 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 it's canceled. So mm. too bad. Yeah. Danny in Switzerland, he asked, uh, when comes the next Animal Drive album? Uh, that's, yeah, it's, I have no, I have nothing to tell you about that, unfortunately. Uh, we finished the album uh but things are now really yeah i can't really tell you anything specifically i have no okay. idea if, if it's ever going to come out okay yeah that's just that's what sorry, we'll sorry Danny. yeah sorry Danny. yeah anything else what, what comes out in in the in the in the near future from you which is you could promote right now or or everything uh, on hold because of yeah. covid Every, everything is on hold. Absolutely everything. I I did a lot of jams with a lot of different people, and uh, I have one more, two more jams left with Portnoy, and I have one really cool thing that I'm gonna do soon. Um, I'm gonna turn a couple of instrumentals with uh, songs with the vocal, um, and uh, that's all I can tell you right now. Everything else is just on hold, and I have no info what's going to happen in the future whatsoever right now all right then we wrap it up with uh one last song and he has the the, the right the right name <laughs> because he calls the last song oh the last time and, yeah. uh, the last time yeah and yeah. and uh one of the amazing singers in the 80s was ray gillen absolutely amazing he was he was an influence on you oh yes Oh hell yes, he's he's in my top three. That's for sure. I love his voice. I love Badlands. I love, I okay. love him. Yeah, I love what he did in Black Sabbath. Uh, he was, he did the first version of Eternal Idol. I love Tony Martin's version, and I love Headless Cross and everything that Tony Martin did. But there's something special about Ray Gillen doing those tracks: uh, The Shining, Hard Life to Love, Eternal Idol ancient warrior you know and all the other songs so nightmare so yeah i love ray gillen very much I just i just announced it before i got a, i got an, a new email from tony martin he's, he's on a show as well he's coming he actually through. we actually sang together on magnus carlson's album okay. i sang two i sang two songs tony martin did one song romero did one song Renan Zonta did two songs. Nuora from uh, Battle Bees did one song, and Magnus did the rest. So, pretty Magnus cool. He's amazing. He is he's, amazing. He's, he's amazing. the prime, prime of fear. Yeah, uh, guy, the, 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 the sixth member actually. Yeah, yeah. He, I know. I know. He's, he's amazing. amazing. Yes, yes, amazing. Yeah. Amazing. Yeah. All right. So then I will say, with the last song, I will will wrap it up. I say thank you so much for coming it was a thank pleasure you. Uh, honor. Thank you. and yeah. please come back when you, have, when you have some news i will i always will. welcome sure. dino very very cool thank you so much and congratulations you. to your voice and say say hello to dario for done everything professionally everything was yeah. perfectly i hope cool. I, in, my, in the future in my show i work with people like you and your, your dad because thank you very high, prof much, yeah. high professional and absolutely amazing I Thank hope I hear much. from you soon something again, and, and I will always yeah. play yeah, your hope. songs in my show. Thank you. Thank you. You know, in Metal We Trust, United We Stand. <laughs> awesome. And here, I don't want, I don't want to pronounce the, the, the song wrong again. The last time. The last time, yes. Here is yeah, Dino Chirusik, the last song with The Last Time. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Take care.
was für eine Stimme, leck mich fett in die Fresse geschissen. Das war natürlich wieder mal ein Highlight. Und äh, ja, solche Gäste, wenn du hast, dann wieder eine Sendung gut. Ne? Tja, und es geht ja weiter. Wir haben jeden Tag haben wir neue Gäste und ich freue mich schon auf morgen. Aber erst kommt noch mal ein Song zum Runterkommen. Auch mit einer absoluten Wahnsinnstimme. Ich habe ihn schon am Morgen gespielt, am Montag, glaube ich, habe ihn gespielt. Und das ist auch so eine geile, geile Stimme. Und der ist schon ein bisschen älter, der Knabe, aber die, 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 die äh, vorher kam sogar mal äh, ein Einwand, also nicht Einwand, eine Idee. Der klingt ähnlich wie der nächste Kollege Johann Lande. Hier ist Auto Every Nation. Cooler Song. Storytelling man, I spread the word across the land. A voice of hope, a chant for peace. That's my way, that's my release. Rainbow shaker on a unicorn ride. Spread my dreams across the sky. No more.
Hier ist Daniel Gomorais und wenn du German Thrash Metal magst, solltest du diesen Mittwoch die Metal is Forever Podcast Show einschalten. Da bin ich zu Gast und werde euch erzählen, wie ich trotz all der existenziellen Ängste während Corona es doch noch irgendwie geschafft habe, mir unseren Traum von unserem Morbid Tales of Terror Album zu erfüllen, warum ich nach zwölf Jahren ausgerechnet jetzt den Schritt in die Selbstständigkeit wage als Heavy Metal Musiker und warum ich auch ein gutes Gefühl habe, dass jetzt ein guter Zeitpunkt ist, zu meinen Wurzeln aller Scorpion, so ein Michael Schenker Group zurückzukehren mit meinem Solo Album, an dem ich gerade arbeite und natürlich beantworten wir auch gern eure Fragen und natürlich wird auch der Richie wieder den ein oder anderen Nackenbrecher am Start haben. Also, ich freue mich, dich zu sehen. Diesen Mittwoch Metal is Forever Podcast. Diese Nackenbrecher, die kommen von Gummomaniacs, das kann ich gleich sagen. Was für eine geile Band. Richtiger Trash, geiler Trash-Metal. Und der Gummo ist ein ganz sympathischer und der war bei mir schon mal in der Morgensendung vor ein paar Monaten. Und ja, was der da mitgemacht hat in der Zeit, der war so unten gewesen, weil nicht wusste, wie es weitergehen soll. Er will das Album machen, aber er hat Covid und alles scheiße und so. Und dann war ich da und habe ich ein bisschen, ein bisschen aufgebaut. Und Papa Newton war da und er hat gehört und er hat es durchgezogen und das freut mich. Das wird, uns, das wird uns immer verbinden. Diese Momente, diese langen Gespräche nachts mit einem aufgelösten Gummo wird mich wahrscheinlich immer begleiten und ich hoffe ihn auch. Und, und er hat es geschafft und hat es durchgezogen und ganz, ganz geil. Auf den freue ich mich morgen einschalten, 20 Uhr. Tja, was habt ihr noch geschrieben? Ich muss mir noch einen Kaffee machen. Äh, tja, es ist 4 Uhr, 4 Uhr 20 fast. Da schaut ihr mal, ne? Newton steht um 1 Uhr nachts auf. Morgens, 1 Uhr morgens steht er auf für euch. So, apropos Kaffee. Ihr dürft natürlich immer wieder auf Kaffee reinfüllen. Da unten ist die Kaffeebar in PayPal. Einmal schauen, Kaffee ausgeben. Gestern bekam ich einen von Peter, von Hippo. Danke dir, mein Freund. Hat mich gefreut. So, und jetzt mein Rauschmeister für heute. Wir sind schon am Ende der Sendung und ich bin dankbar, dass wir noch da sind in Facebook. Normalerweise brechen wir ja schon ab. Aber jetzt äh, sind wir noch da und ich freue mich jetzt, äh, dass ein, die Band zu spielen. Herzenssache natürlich, dass ich ihn jetzt, äh, er ist mein co am Freitag. Der Undertaker Bob S mit einer genialen neuen Single. Und das Album Heavenly Creatures kommt am Freitag raus. Das heißt, Helfer Frankie und ich sind am Freitag alleine. Noch hat sich kein dritter Co-Pilot gefunden. Aber da muss das Frankie nicht alleine machen. Da muss ich mir die Lache alleine antun, mein lieber Schieber, dass wir wieder, wenn uns wieder Sprüche einfallen, nämlich mal an. Denn Bob S muss saufen. Denn die feiern alle zusammen. Ist es eigentlich erlaubt? Fuck it! Die haben das Recht zu saufen gemeinsam. Die ganze Meute von Black and Dam, der das Album muss gefeiert werden. Ich habe es vorbestellt. Ihr könnt es auch vorbestellen. Und nochmal nicht vergessen, da oben www.musikmegastore.com Ich bin Partner jetzt, offiziell Partner. Und mit dem Code beim, beim, beim Zahlen, gebt der Code Newton ein, kleingeschrieben Newton, bekommt ihr 5% Rabatt. Jawohl. Einfach so. Also, wenn ihr irgendwas Neues kaufen wollt, bevor ihr bei Amazon kauft, kauft nicht bei Amazon. Löscht Spotify. Ihr bekommt es auch umsonst vielleicht oder vielleicht für 8, 9 Euro pro Monat. Das ist nicht fair den Musikern gegenüber. Kauft es, kauft es Sachen bei den Labels. Oder eben bei Music Mega Store, denn es ist nämlich der Mastermind ist nämlich auch der Boss von Rock of Angels Records und die arbeiten alle zusammen. Und Music Mega Store ist sehr, sehr cool. Ich habe extra vergewissert, dass es nicht irgendwie Konkurrenzding ist. Oder? Nee. Alle Label, die meisten Labels sind bei ihm gelistet und es ist alles cool. Alles ist fair und cool. Und ist, der hat auch geile Shirts. Also Band Merch findet ihr alles bei Music Mega Store. Reinschauen. 5%, wenn er Newton eingibt beim 
Okay. Und jetzt der Mastermind selber, Mr. Undertaker Bobes, macht den kurzen Teaser für euch. Hallo Metalheads, am 29.01.2021 sind wir ab 20 Uhr in der fantastischen Metal is Forever Podcast Show von Richie Newton. Stay heavy! Woo. Born Again, Black and Damned und ich muss gerade so lachen, <lacht> da frage ich mich seine Einwürfe immer, da soll man seine Rumpelkammer aufräumen und bei der, ich weiß, bei der allerersten Sendung äh, <lacht> habe ich gesagt, sag mal, Bobis, was ist denn für Sausch da hinter dir? Da so, ah ja, da muss ich aufräumen und dann ist er aufgestanden mit einer Oben sich metalmäßig unten grau Jockeyhosen mit dem Arsch. Dann hat er aufgeräumt, wie er gesagt, wie der Ossi Osborn, wie er aufgeräumt hat. Wie, ah, je, 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 je. Aber die Jungs haben selber Humor. Und äh, tja, liebe Freunde, 
das war jetzt nochmal, also das Video, ich finde es so geil, wie er zum Schluss äh, bei Bonner gehen noch ein bisschen, auf, auf, ein bisschen auf Comedy macht. Ja, Roland, Schnauze Frankie. Wo er recht hat, hat er recht. Saustall hast du im Hintergrund. Saustall, da müssen wir dran arbeiten. Andere haben goldene Schallplatten, du hast, weiß ich was hat noch, was liegt noch hinten, der, der Golfkart oder was ist denn das da hinten? So, das war's gewesen, meine Freunde. Bevor mein Schmarrn reinkommt, zum Glück kann der, kann der, der, der Frank jetzt nicht laut lachen, sonst wird er wahrscheinlich die Sendung wieder sehr boxen hier. Meine lieben Freunde, Le Metal Maniacs, es war mir wieder eine Ehre, hat mir wieder äh, wahnsinnig Spaß gemacht und so kann es weitergehen. Und ich sage eins, jede Sendung, vor der Sendung, ich glaube, mein Blut müsste ich immer messen. Ich weiß ja nie, ob die Jungs auftauchen, ob die wirklich da sind. Ist ja live, ist ja nicht irgendwie was aufgezeichnet. Und äh, wenn ich dann plötzlich sehe, das Screen losgeht, oh, der ist da. Wenn da auch noch das Mikrofon funktioniert, die Kamera funktioniert, das alles muss, ich muss da vorne schreiben, hey, hast du einen Link gekriegt, passt alles, ich bin online. Da ist so viel Arbeit hinter so einer Show, das könnt ihr gar nicht vorstellen, bis es wirklich so abläuft, wie es jetzt durchgelaufen ist und dann hoffentlich ohne Probleme, dann kann ich sagen, it's a wrap. Und heute hat es wieder geklappt. Kein Problem mit Facebook, kein Problem mit YouTube. Ihr wart cool drauf und ich hoffe, ihr habt genauso viel Spaß gemacht wie mir. Und wir sehen uns wieder, wenn ihr wollt, zur Morgen Rockshow um 8 Uhr früh oder um 20 Uhr, wenn es heißt äh, Metal is Forever mit Gummo Maniacs, der Gummo Daniel Reis ist mein Gast. Ich freue mich auf euch. Im Metal we trust, united we stand. Gute Nacht und jetzt noch richtig laut Metal hören. Okay, da könnt ihr gut schlafen. Rock and Roll will never die. Servus. Die Metal is Forever Show wird euch präsentiert von The Vegan Ashes of Rock and Roll. Veganer Lifestyle ist lebendiger Rock and Roll. Wir sind Rebellen. Wir sind Veganer. Wir lieben das Leben und leben es mit jeder Menge Spaß. Fliesen Spitzner, ihr zuverlässiger Handwerker für alle Aufgaben rund um das Verlegen von Fliesen, Platten, Mosaik und Naturstein. Schwammerhandler, Fanshop, Store and More, ist aus dem bayerischen Wald. Dezi Hell, Business Clothes for Rockers. Dezi Hell, kein Fest und ihr leckere Sposau. Deshalb, wenn es um Sposau geht, dann hacks Sposau Grillerei. Wenn es um Cargo geht, dann Seidel Cargo, denn wir fahren auch Metal. Crazy Stuff Tattoo in Schwandorf, Tätowierer aus Leidenschaft. Dein Tattoo Studio in privater Atmosphäre und für individuelle Tattoos. Luftraum Fürstenfeldbruck, die Rock- und Metal-Kneipe. Jede Woche von Donnerstag bis Samstag Rock und Metal vom Feinsten. 